G'day and welcome to the channel. I'm v Dup, and how you doing? Today's video is uh, really exciting because we went to pick up the combi. I received an email from Pat at Pepco and this was attached. So it's a certificate of inspection and I've taken out some of the numbers just for obvious reasons. But coming right down the bottom to vehicle past and the signature of the examiner. So this is fantastic. Uh, Pat said to me I need to take this up to our local uh, government licensing area to go and get the license plates so we can put them on the vehicle and then it'll be legal for the road so that's where we're off to next all right so we're all excited because we've just got the email from Pat at Pepco and he's said it's all good we just need to take our certificate to the licensing department to get the number plates so that's where Josh and I are headed right now to go and get our license plates. So excellent. This is the local testing station uh, where you get your licenses, driver's licenses and uh, vehicle licenses. So we're going to go inside there and get the plates. You can see all the young kids waiting around for their driver's permits. Right, <clears throat> we've just come out of there and look what we've got, number plates for the gate. So, what do you say? <laughs> Pretty happy. Pretty happy. Alright, so you can see probably from the smiles on our face that we got the number plates! Yay! Uh, it's been a big effort to get this far, so um, yeah, a bit of paperwork in there. They wanted to know, uh, luckily I took the papers with me. They wanted proof of purchase and how much I paid and everything else. But um, yeah, at last we've got the number plates. We're going to head down now to Pat and we can put the number plates on the car and hopefully we can get our combi and at last we can drive it. Easy boys. Well, the patch up, that's quite nice. The licensing centre took much longer than we thought it would and by the time we got out of there we were really into the start of rush hour traffic to get down to Fremantle where Pat is and by the time we got to Pat they had already started closing up the gates and the combi was parked in so what he said to us is leave the plates with him and uh, come back the next day and you put the plates in the combi, take it for a last uh, drive and check and put together the uh, account for me. So that's why we weren't able to take it that day. All right, so it's the next day and uh, we're actually on our way to Bibco to actually go and pick up the combi. So, um, pretty excited and it'll be great to get it back. We're here at Pepco and I'll just need to go in and pay the bill and we can get our combi. Even 
COVID wheel alignment we paid for. I'm not going to tell you what we paid Pepco, but it was a lot more than I thought. But anyway, at least another copy on the road, so it's saved. Oh, too easy. easy oh fella. my gosh, <laughs> we're going to die. <laughs> but uh, that's well done of fun. Oh, there's the big man. Ominous combi. This is the new bumper. These are the new indicators that have been put on. We'll probably have to change all that uh, chrome to pink. Okay. Gonna put the new bull bar on. The mirrors we've put on. Uh, the doors are locked. If you look down the side, here's the patch that they fixed. This is the original bumper to the car that we've asked them to replace. You can see the old light lenses have been replaced with brand new lenses. Just opening up the back. It's very tidy inside the car and the headline is in very good condition. A lot of the edges where it's peeling off, we can just glue and repair. But overall, it's in pretty good condition for the fact that it spent 30 years of its life at the dam and carting barbecue skis and all sorts of things. Here's the parts. You can see the old lens covers, some items. Things have been taken off, flywheel in the back, clutch, thrust bearing. Just coming around the car now. So if you look, there's a crack in that vent tube. But otherwise the interior is not too bad either. They had to change the seat belts, same type, but they had to be Australian made. So you can see your Australian mark. But the dash is in still pretty good condition. The floor, this is what they repaired. Where they put the big patch in. Just looking now in the back. You can see the old windscreen here with the old rubber. And the condition of the seats is pretty good. And just looking across to the sliding door now. Coming back out the vehicle. And moving around the front again. Close the sliding door. Now uh, that's locked. Front door opens. You can see that little piece there that they had to repair. It was quite a sharp, jagged area, and they said it was dangerous in an accident, it could go into somebody's leg. So they made that little piece for me. You can see the passenger seats in very good condition as well. Opening the sliding door. 
do with a bit of grease. You can see the inside's very good. You can see the hand rests, arm rests over there, because it's the deluxe. You can see the crack on the windscreen, and that's why it's failed. You can see the rubber mats are pretty good. Putting the seat down, all works. Put down the back. Back seat's also in good condition. See the jail bars and luggage bars, all good. Armrests, because it's a deluxe. So the interior is in very good condition, considering its age and its use. So very pleased that it's over the pits and on the road. So as I said before, we're gonna put the bull bar back on. change some of the chrome back to pink there we go that's the car Thank you for watching, take care and God bless. Thanks again for watching and be sure to like, share, subscribe and leave me any comments.